The owner of the, a taco shop shared surveillance video of his restaurant being burglarized. He says that he suffered thousands of dollars in losses, both in cash and damage to his shop. KTLA's Sandra Mitchell is live in Bellflower, where the new taco shop is not the only local business being targeted by thieves. Sandra. Yeah, Pedro and Cher, if you take a look behind us, you're going to see the work crews are here. They are installing a metal roll-up gate now to protect those glass windows at the taco shop. Uh, we talked to a number of other business owners here. They have been hit as well, and they are frustrated because the thieves just keep coming back. With a quick jab, the glass is broken and two burglars bang their way inside Tacos La Rueda in Bellflower. They found the safe and then they had a minute because the alarm has a siren. So the siren came on and they just got scared and they took off. Owner Ellen Cejedo says the thieves did not get anything, but then early Monday morning, the burglars were back running right to the safe. They know what they were doing. They did it a little bit faster and they got into the safe. In less than two minutes, they were gone with more than $3,000 cash. Sejudo says he did what he could to protect his part of the American dream. He has eight security cameras, an alarm system and a safe. Today, crews are installing a metal roll-up door. With $10,000 in losses and damages, he's frustrated. All these restaurants and, and businesses getting hit. It's so hard, you know. We work so hard, we pay taxes. It's not just break-ins. Last night in the same shopping center, an armed robbery. There is another gunpoint right here in the smoke shop in the same shopping center. And they robbed her jewelry and they took some money out of her. I don't know, just when, when we just go to work and then we saw the, the classes open, uh, the break-in. The nail salon here at Walnut Square in the 16,000 block of Bellflower Boulevard has been burglarized five times. They tried to get a money, but I don't have money in here. Business owners say the sheriff's department does have the license plate of the vehicle involved in Monday's burglary, but so far, no arrest. All this hard work for somebody just to come in and just grab everything. So we did check in with the sheriff's department. They gave us an update. They do have the license plate number. It was recorded on those security camera, but so far there are no suspects in any of these cases. We're live in Bellflower. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Sharon Pedro, back to you. Sandy, thank you.